blues has always been totally American. As American as apple pie. As American as the blues. As American as apple pie. The question is why? Why should the blues be so at home here? Well, America provided the atmosphere. A year of hysterical importance. A year of historical importance. <laughs> America provided the atmosphere for the blues and the blues was born. The blues was born on the American wilderness. The blues was born on the beaches where the slave ships were docked. The blues grew up a slave. The blues grew up as property. The blues grew up in Nat Turner visions. The blues grew up in small town deprivation. The blues grew up in Satchmo's horn, on Duke's piano, in Langston's poetry, on Robeson's baritone. The point is that the blues is grown. The blues is grown now, full grown, and you can trace the evolution of the blues on a parallel line with the evolution of this country. From Primrose Rock to Acid Rock, from 13 states to Watergate, the blues is grown, but not the home. The blues is grown, but the country has not. The blues remembers everything the country forgot. It's a bicentennial year. And the blues is celebrating a birthday. And it's a bicentennial blues. of hysterical importance, a year of historical importance, <laughs> ripped off like donated moments from the past, 200 years ago this evening, 200 years ago last evening, and what about now, the blues is now, a bicentennial year, the year the symbol transformed into the B-U-Y centennial. Buy a car, buy a flag, buy a map. Until the public in mass has been bludgeoned into bicentennial submission or bicentennial suspicion. I fall into the latter category. It's a, a blues year. And America has got blues. Halfway justice, halfway liberty, halfway equality. It's a half-ass year. And we would be silly in all our knowledge, in all our self-righteous knowledge, when we sit back and laugh and mock the things that happen in our lives, to accept anything less than the truth about this bicentennial year. And the truth relates to 200 years of people and ideas getting by. We got by George Washington. The ideas of justice, liberty, and equality got cold by George Washington. Slave owner general. Ironic that the father of this country should be a slave owner. Got by Gerald Ford. Oatmeal man. Ronald Reagan. It got by him. Holly Wheel. Acted like an actor. Acted like a liberal, acted like General Franco when he acted like governor of California, now he acts like somebody might vote for him for president. It got by Jimmy Carter, Skippy. Got by Jimmy Carter and got by him and his friend the Colonel, the creators of Southern Pride Triple Talk. A blues trio, America got the blues. It got by Henry Kissinger, the international godfather of peace. A piece of Vietnam, a piece of Laos, a piece of Angola, a piece of Cuba. A blues quartet. And America got the blues. And the blues is in the street looking for the three principles of justice, liberty, and equality. We would do well to join the blues looking for justice, liberty, and equality. 
The blues is in the street. America has got the blues, but don't let it get by us. Thank you very much. Bye.